Hello everyone. In all the times I've reviewed Bibles, I think I've only really reviewed two New Testaments so far. So this is three for three. And this is a New American Standard 2020 edition from the Lachman Foundation. And it is the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. This was released in 2022, so last year as of this video. And so let's take a look at it. The cover on this is a little bit unique, at least from what I've seen. Um, they are calling it flesh cut coated fiber. And so it's it has a unique feel and it's a little bit more like, uh, it feels like imitation leather if you rub it, but if you scratch it, it feels like a thick cardstock. So it's a little bit different, but it feels durable and it also looks really nice. The exterior has the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs on the front, New American Standard Bible on the bottom. The spine has NAS at the top, New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs, Lachman Foundation, and then NASB 2020 with the ISBN on the back. Dimensions on this are around three and five eighths inches wide, five and a half inches tall, and about three quarter, half inch to three quarter inches thick. So it's a little bit, I didn't actually measure that, I forgot to, so I don't have an exact measurement, but it's around half an inch. The page edges are just plain cut. You can see they are rounded on the corners. And right here you can kind of see that the exterior is a glued, that fiber is glued to a paper liner. So it does have two pieces of material for the cover. You can see here that it is a glued spine, which we'll get to in a moment. So the exterior looks very sharp and it's also very compact, but a little bit larger than some other Bibles and you'll see New Testaments and you'll see why. So let's open it up. You have New American Standard Bible 2020 text published by the Lachman Foundation. This one is printed in the United States. which I think is impressive. I definitely enjoy when I see that. Have your publication information. There's a scriptural note, forward, the aim of the Lachman Foundation. You have a preface to the New American Standard Bible. Principles of translation. Sorry if I come in and out of the frame of the camera. I'm holding this up because my view focus is so long because I'm used to doing bigger Bibles. Here's the explanation of the general format. And you'll notice here, this is something that I find very pleasing to my, to my, to my eye because um, you'll notice that the introduction is in single column and a lot of Bibles, they are in single column and that gets you kind of excited. You're like, I wish they did a Bible that matched the introduction. And in this case, that is actually true. So you have abbreviations, your content, and there is some back content, which is marked here, so I can find it more easily if you've seen that tab. And then the Gospel of Matthew. And look at that. It's single column. And I was really excited when I saw that because I enjoy single column. And there's not many New Testaments that are single column. I think Crossway just released a New Testament that's single column as well. But typically, they're double column Bibles. So this is kind of a, a new design, and so I think it's really cool. So the text size on this is a 7.5, so very readable. There are uh, subject headings or within the text, so you can see that it is broken up. Old Testament quotations are in lowercase capital letters or non-bolded capital letters. And then you have paragraph style, so paragraph indentations where the new paragraphs start. The verse numbers are not bolded to indicate paragraph beginnings, and it is black letter, so there are no accent colors. Obviously, with a Bible this small, there are no cross-references. They do have textual footnotes here, and something I wish there would be, but I can't, don't see very many, are the Old Testament citations listed in the footnotes. They just have... Um, the citations bolded. They don't have the references. But other than that, the textual footnotes, at least a minimum set, are present. So before I go any further, I want to point out the binding. And 
I noticed there's not very many videos out on this particular edition right now, but the one that I did see, someone complained about the glued binding not being sewn. And that is a legitimate concern, but however, with a Bible this small, it's really not a big deal, at least from what I can tell. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One is that you can see here, the gutter is very wide. And at first glance, it might seem a little bit odd because there's so much wasted space, but because this is a thicker, small Bible, that pushes the text out to the center of the page and you really don't have to crease it, bend it over in order to see the text. You can just flip it open and the text is right there and that gutter keeps the text visible. And coinciding with that is the glued binding doesn't allow the text or the gutter to open up all the way. And so that gutter being so wide, which I believe is around 5 eighths of an inch, uh, keeps the text out and you don't again have to open it all the way in order to read it easily. So the wide gutter connected to the glued binding, I think there's no issue. And honestly, you're probably going to be holding this if you're using it, you're not going to be setting it down. So this may actually lay flat in the middle at some point, just with use. But as far as it being an issue that it's a glued binding, I don't think it is. So let's move to a poetic setting. You can see here in the Psalms, paragraphs have a pilcrow, and something I pointed out in one or two of my other Lockman videos was that the pilcrows on some of them were a little bit um, close to the verse numbers. These ones again are sort of like that, but they're not too bad, and it's a small Bible, so you're not gonna really, I don't think, notice that. Proverbs is the same, and again, this is, in the poetic setting, it's verse by verse and double column. So let's get to the study helps in the back. And for, I would say this is a very useful evangelistic tool. And so I think this is very helpful that they put some information in the back to help with that. This is something you could give out to people that you are witnessing to. So they have a this book section, which talks about what the Bible is and what it does. There's a where to find help and you might notice this as familiar, and that's because the Gideon New Testaments actually have a section like this in the beginning. So that's something that is a carryover from that line of evangelistic Bible. There's a suggested reading section, so you have some different themes, so the temptation of Jesus, the life of Jesus, um, crucifixion, Paul's conversion, the resurrection, a couple different things. There's a teachings and a Christian virtues reference section. Wisdom from the word, this is just some selected scriptures. The 10 commandments, and then intros to the books of the Bible. Again, glad they at least have this somewhere in here, especially for a edition that could be uh, read by someone who is maybe not yet a Christian or a very new Christian. Parables of Jesus, so it has a good section of those. The Miracles of Jesus, again, a nice section. And then there's Old Testament prophecies fulfilled in Christ. This is a very important one, I think. Um, and again, they don't have any Old Testament references within the text. So obviously you will only be able to reference those and then actually look them up in the New Testament portion. But at least that gives you an idea of where those New Testament passages are um, promised in the Old Testament. And there's a good section of those as well. Then we have a one-year reading plan of the New Testament. And then the plan of salvation. Again, I'm really glad they include this in here because that is a very helpful thing. And this, is, again, is very reminiscent of the Gideon. And then you get to the end and you just have a single piece of paper. So. I've mentioned the Gideon a couple times, so I will compare that real quick. This is a rebound by me that wasn't the greatest, but at least I tried. So the Gideon is very popular, um, usually free New Testament or full Bible that's used as a um, evangelistic resource and a lot of times placed in hotels and you'll find it in a lot of places. So this New Testament is the New King James, I believe and it's a verse-by-verse, -verse, double-column 
and you can see it's probably about a six point six to seven point text size and we'll compare just the text here for a second so you can see that very different two column versus single column and a little bit larger text in the Lockman but here in the beginning you can see the you have those features where to find help um, teachings life's problems virtues so some similarities the Gideon does contain some hymns and then in the back you have the plan of salvation and what to do and your name and date so a couple similarities so there you have a quick review of a new testament with the psalms and proverbs from the lockman foundation in the new american standard 2020 edition i think this is a great resource and definitely something to keep in mind especially if you are witnessing the price on this is six dollars and 29 cents retail so i'm not sure you can probably find it a little cheaper elsewhere but i'm not sure who has this available aside from lockman at this point so there you go thanks for watching